Hey guys, welcome to my channel Hammond's Hobbies. My name's Glenn and in today's video we are going to see, hopefully, we're going to see the world's most expensive box of F1 cards being opened up live at PSA. Let's get right into it. Before we get into today's video, I just want to say, as always, thank you to everybody that smashes up the like button on these videos and all the new subscribers. Really appreciate you. Welcome to the F1 Collectible Card Hobby. In today's video, we are going to be seeing a box of Futura 2006 being opened up. One of the most expensive boxes of F1 cards, I think, that's ever been opened up live on camera. It's actually being opened up by some of the American Breakers, F1 Castle, and I believe Sports Card Yoda. I hope I've got that right. And they're gonna be opening it up live at PSA. As far as I'm aware, it was purchased by Jeff Crypto over on Instagram, if you haven't already followed him. He has some amazing super fractors that he collects along the way. He's allowed these guys to open it up for him. It's a, an event almost that's roping in everyone in the hobby. Obviously I did a video before the box even uh, sold live over on Golden uh, a week or two ago. If you haven't seen that, go back and watch that. And I predicted that the box would go for over $40,000. It didn't, it smashed through it. It went for $90,000, which is unbelievable. So it makes it one of the most expensive boxes of F1 cards that are sold and in today's video they're streaming it live so what i'm gonna do is we're gonna jump into that live stream and i'm gonna film and edit this video down to some of the highlights that i feel we're looking for lewis hamilton f2 next card obviously if you can get that and get a psa 10 on it it'll be the only one in the world it'll be a holy grail for some people and there's also one of one porcelains, memory seal, you've got the gold plated cards. So there's some really nice cards that can be pulled out of this box, not just the Lewis Hamilton card. So let's get right into the live stream and good luck to Jeff Crypto because it's a massive uh, uh, expense. And I'm just really glad that he's allowed the F1 community to be able to open this up live in front of everyone. He could have just quite selfishly <laughs> kept it sealed and had it as an investment, or he could have opened it all to himself and we could have just seen the highlights in a photo the next day, but we're actually gonna witness it being opened up live. So big thank you to all of the guys that in America that have organized this and uh, let's get right into the stream. And we've got a little Kimmy right so in. They've started the stream already. We've got uh, got 215 people in the stream, which is awesome for an F1 stream. Weber and Rosberg line up. Open Young. Tongue ready. Heike Kova line and Lewis Hamilton's. Uh, he was a second driver, really. He never made it going up against Lewis Hamilton. He never really made it at McLaren. This is my era. 2006 is like prime Glenn watching F1 back in his day, sitting on a chair, <laughs> watching F1 on TV. I really like the packaging these come in. They come in like nice little golden wooden boxes. I haven't seen that before. These cards are quite hard and rare to find just as raw single cards. If you go on eBay and look up Futura 2006, there's certain collections you can find, um, but uh, there's you don't ever see sealed, like even just the little boxes or packs or, um, so this is really rare to see, even just the individual pack. I'm surprised they're not opening them with gloves on. <laughs> I, would, I would wear gloves at this point. Cause any of these cards in a PSA 10, you know, are really nice hits. E even forgetting the Lewis Hamilton, you know, You've got um, Andretti there, obviously the last known American uh, F1 champion. Oh, we got the silver McLaren car, Jensen Button. Yeah, that's nice. See that graded would be, mind you, all, it looks like all of them are already sleeved, which is pretty cool. Well, the big hits are anyway. Yeah, Robert Kubica. It's weird seeing him with hair. He's been bald headed, isn't he, the last few years. Marcus Winkler. Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah, not great. Hey. hey, legends. Them legend cards look so nice. Legend card here. 
Godspeed. He was one of the last known Americans before Logan Sargent came into it. I remember him being a very popular American driver, but again, he just didn't do very well. This is when Fernando Alonso was fighting for titles back then. Kimi Raikkonen. Kimi Raikkonen cards are so popular. In my streams, people always say, have you got any rare Kimmies? And now that is one of them that I haven't got. I haven't actually got hardly any cards from this set. This is a set that's always escaped me. I think with the publicity of this, what's going on now, um, I, it may rise the prices of a lot of Futura cards on eBay because now there's a bit of hype and interest around it. People are going to start trying to buy odd single cards from it. Um, so we may see an influx of this set. God, Red, that's the old Red Bull design. Nice. Red Bull. So we'll start with the Red Bull way back when they were trash. David Coulthard wearing the Superman cape as well. Awesome. <laughs> oh, bit of cardboard. What does that mean? It's going to be one of the gold plates. Hey! Oh, nice. If you're going to hit a gold plate, Michael Schumacher, you don't get much better than that. I've actually got a Rubens Barrichello one sitting right here next to me, actually. Is that Jim Clark as well? Yeah. No, you're fine, you're fine. Jim Clark legend. Jim Clark a legend? Yeah, yeah, he's a massive legend. <laughs> Here we go. Man, that gold plating is really nice. It's so nice. It's absolutely beautiful. I wonder what the what the men is here. I actually know the gentleman that has a PSA ten of that gold plated card. I think it's on eBay for something like thirty thousand pounds or something like that. Crazy money. And I remember saying to him, how have you priced that at that? And he was like, it's the only one. And I was like, okay. <laughs> if you've got something that's the only thing of the world, you set the price. You don't be ashamed of it. Be proud. You know, stick to your guns. You never know. The anticipation. All right, Nelson, Nelson PK, legend. His son left F1 after the scandal with Fernando Alonso in Singapore when they purposely crashed the car. Ah, oh, David Coulthard. Patch. Nice. Who's that? That's uh, Ralph Schumacher and Ron Jarno Trulli. I remember them back in the day. Panasonic. Hey, Jackie Stewart. Nice. Felipe Massa. Look how young he looks there. <laughs> Fernando Alonso champion card. Oh yeah, Fernando Alonso was very hot at this time, 2006. He sort of was crowned the next Michael Schumacher at this time. And another, another Anthony. Hey. <laughs> nice. Anthony Davison was the next sort of like, or not the next, but he was an up and coming British driver, but he came in the same sort of time that Lewis Hamilton entered F1. And you can imagine he didn't, he didn't last very long in the raining. <laughs> Chaos trading card said someone needs a new blade. <laughs> Don't push against the edges hard. Oh God. People getting touchy now, aren't they? They're saying they're hoping for multiple Lewis Hamilton cards, but uh, from based on what uh, I've heard from people that have opened this product in the past, um, big shout out to obviously um, F1 collector, Aussie F1 collector, I can't remember what way round it is, but uh, we've had him on the channel before. He said that usually there's only one of those Lewis Hamilton next cards in every other box. You've got a 50-50 chance of hitting one. So if they hit more than one here, then Jeff smashed it. Schumacher, double up on the porcelain for Schumacher. Jensen Button driver card. Yeah, so that driver set, that that I've seen sets of those on eBay multiple times over. Hey! hey. Boom. Boom. Lewis Hamilton F2 next card. Woo! Snap, let's go. Open it with gloves. <laughs> Open it with gloves. Very, very careful. There's never been a PSA 10. I don't think they're even halfway through this uh, case, so 
Could they hit another one? That would be if if they hit another one. Jeff, oh, like like I think it's sleeved anyway, isn't it? No, it's not. Sleeve it. Sleeve it. <laughs> Very nice. Well done, boys. Nice. Another gold plate. Alan Jones. Rubens Barrichello. Hey. Pizziani. Hey, Mika Hakkinen. Mika Hakkinen. Nice. I'm hoping they bring Mika Hakkinen to some of the um, mod, like new sets as a legend. That's a nice one. Schumacher and Massa together. Mark Webber. Wah, wah. For another Lewis. I personally, I think that's it. From what I've been told, them Lewis Hamiltons are one in every other box. That's what I've been told. All right. Oh my God. I've heard a couple of other people talking about this product through like Instagram and other platforms. And people have mentioned that they think that that Lewis card, if you know, that it could be worth anything up to 300,000 because that's what a previous one sold for. But I think that's a bit of an outliner because one sold, and I, I think at the time people thought it was the only one. And then we saw another one come up, then another one, then another one. And the prices, once people started to realize, oh, there's more than one or two of these in the world, the prices started dramatically dropping. Um, so I don't know what the last known sold of it was. I'd have to check that. Oh, that's a nice one, the porcelain card. Who's that? Ooh, Heinz Harold Frensen. Heinz Harold Frensen. God, that's a blast from the past, isn't it? All right, here we go, guys. There's 260 people in this stream. We got Midland cards. Nico Rosberg. Oh, future world champion. One of Lewis Hamilton's biggest rivals. Ah, oh, Alan Prost. Nice. This is a gold plate card. This is the one. Is it Barrichello? Is this gold plate a Barrichello? And no, Luciano Berti. All right, so for our one. Berti? It's a one of one autograph here, 24 karat gold. Jacques Villeneuve. Jack Villeneuve. Nice. What funny glasses he wore even back then. <laughs> we got Emerson Fittipaldi, Grand Fittipaldi. Italian driver. Thing last pack. Let me buy that card with the Jacques so you can do something. So this story is going to continue whether um, Jeff's obviously... I actually think, looking at it, now that he's hit the F2 car of Lewis Hamilton, um, one, obviously, he's probably... If he was to grade that and sell it, which I don't think he will, I think he's the type of person that will probably cherish that card. So, it, you know, it's not about making money back or anything like that, but... Uh, looking at the value, some of these sets, like of the driver sets and the car sets, I've seen sell for like yeah. 600 to a thousand pounds just for like normal sets, the base set. Right, so um, base and the then you've got the gold plates, the porcelains, uh, autographs, like you know. I think if a few of these come back PSA 10, which I assume he's going to get a bunch of them, if not all of them graded, I think he's you know, I think he's got good value for money. That's what I'm trying to say. So no Lewis. If he hadn't pulled the Lewis though, that'd be a big L. But he's done it. So well done to Jeff. Nick Heidfeld. Nick Heidfeld on the gold plate. This would be an insane collection to have all of the gold plates graded. That would be mint. Alright, so we got David Coulthard here. David Coulthard patch, nice. This one 185 out of 275. Damon Hill. We got Damon Hill. 86 out of 170. David Coulthard again. My boy David getting in there twice. Nice. 77 out of 175. Heinz Harold Frensen. 95 out of 175. Rubens Barrichello on the pat. 52 out of 275. Michael Schumacher. 14 out of 175. I think that's the porcelain yeah. one, isn't it? On the gold plated. Nick Heidfeld. Gold plate. Another Schumacher. I know, right? Some of them are in my hand, right? There you go. 139 out of 175. 
Ralph Schumacher, 126 out of 175. Eddie Irvine, 76. Eddie out of Irvine. Jensen Button patch as well. The British lads representing in this break. Come on, get in. Let's have it. Luciano Berti. Yeah, it's a shame that gold plated one is a Berti. Looks pretty tidy. It's hard to tell on a live stream. Yeah, well done, boys. Well, there we go. So, well done to uh, Scott over at F1 Castle and uh, Sports Card Yoda. And obviously to Jeff, who uh, allowed obviously the F1 community to open up that box. Big well done to Jeff. I think uh, Jeff's pulled it out of the bag. Obviously, hitting that Lewis Hamilton F2 next card and some of the gold plates as well. Now, the story will be obviously after this. Well, what grade will that Lewis Hamilton get? Obviously, I'm hoping, fingers crossed, for the 10. I'd love to see him absolutely smash it and get a PSA 10. And not just that Lewis Hamilton card. Obviously, for uh, someone who's into that era of Formula 1 cards, you know, I'd love to see the David Coulthard uh, memory cell get, um, you know, PSA 10. The gold plates, they would look awesome getting a PSA 10. So uh, there's some really nice cards in there, not just the Lewis Hamilton card. They're, they're a really nice set. In the future, obviously, if I can get my hands on a set of those uh, Futura 2006, like try and buy singles and raws as and when I see them at card shows, conventions, and everything like that. Obviously, I'll let you guys know about it and share it with you guys. Let me know in the comment section, what do you think about that set? Not just the Lewis Hamilton card, about all the other legend cards that are in there. I actually really like those legend cards as well, sort of that vintage textured look card. Um, so yeah, let me know what you think in the comment section down below. But that's it from me. Well done to Jeff, to Scott, and to Sports Card Yoda for doing that and sharing it with the community. Uh, big well done for promoting the sets. And uh, I'll look forward to seeing you guys on the next one. Peace.